All right, so I assume you've tried, you know, making a loading screen. And as you all know, a loading screen is not finished without an actual bar. Now, I do have a video on just loading screens. So, you know, how to like, um, like wait for all of the assets to load and, you know, counter them and stuff like that. People have been asking me to show you how to actually make like a bar, you know, that like gradually moves along. So I will show you how to do that. So, yeah. So the thing that I'm going to do um, is, and again, if you haven't seen the um, loading screen thing, then watch that first video because then, I'm not going to recreate that script that I made in, in that video. I'm just going to, I'm just going to give us some like random numbers. Like I'll, I'll, I'll imagine we have like 10 assets to work with, right? I'm not going to recreate the script back then because it's, it's going to take too long. So what I'm going to do is I'll just make the bar. Okay. I'll make, I'll make the UI. Um, and what I'll do is I'll make this, I'll make two frames. Okay. So I'll have this one frame. I'll scale it. So I'll just make it one, 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 like so, so it's fully scaled and then I'll, just drag it over here, which by the way, if you aren't too sure how GUI works, um, you could check my like series on it. I have like three videos on GUI uh, or I just made a course. So you could also go <laughs> check that out. But all right, course plug is over. So what I would do with this frame is I would make it a, a little bigger because this is going to be like our outline. Okay, so this will be our outline of the bar. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll add a UI stroke onto it and I'll add a UI corner. You don't have to do this, I guess, but I just... Like you, you, you'll you'll see kind of what I'm going for. Okay, thickness. I'll make I'll make this white, or just whatever color you want, and then I'll make the background transparency of the frame zero. There we go. So this is going to be our outline. Okay. Then inside of this frame, I will add another frame. And this frame, I'll make it size one comma one, which means it's going to be scaled to fit the entirety of this frame. Okay. So as you can see, this frame, I'll just rename it to like bar. This frame is now going to be our bar. So if we open up the size, um, we don't care about the Y scale. Y is up and down. So we don't care like how how up or down it is, right? In terms of size. We care about how like like wide it is, right? So if we if we because we don't care about the the height, we we can ignore the Y. All we need to worry about is just the X. And so the X goes from either zero to one or anything in between. So 0 0.5 would give us this loading bar, right? So at this point, all we have to do is just, if we have, you know, our assets and everything, then as we loop through every single asset, we just have to divide the number of times we've already looped by the number of by the number of like all the assets, right? And then we get that percentage and then we just plug it in here, like, I don't know, something like this. And that's gonna show you the bar. So let me show you exactly what I mean, okay? So I'll set the scale to be, um, zero and then inside i'll make a local script like so um but let's just i will just assume that we already have our assets okay so i'll just make a fake assets folder and then i'll just add i don't know asset one and then i'll just i'll just copy these assets okay there we go so we have a table of six assets so let's assume let's assume we only have six assets okay and then we'll have a thing called max assets which is going to be hashtag assets which, will, which uh, this basically means like the number of items inside of this table, okay? So if the amount of items in this table is six, then max x assets is equal to six, okay? And then what I'll do is I'm just gonna loop through the assets. I'll say for IV in assets, do. And so we can ignore V uh, be, for right now because V is equal to the actual item, but I is equal to the amount of times we've already looped. So the first time we loop, I is going to be equal to one. Second time we loop, I is going to be equal to two. And then it's going to end when I is equal to six or equal to the max assets, right? So for, let me show you something. If I print right now, I divided by max ma, max assets, okay? And then if, if I run this, if I, if I run the game right now, let's see what happens. Yeah, so as you can see, it starts like this, then increases 0.5 increases, increases, and it ends off at one, okay? So it always starts off close to zero and ends off at one, always, okay? Because obviously when you divide a number by itself, you get one, right? That's the beauty of it. That's why we're using scale. Um, and so what I could do is I could just say, okay, then uh, script.parent.size is equal to uh, udim2 new. And then it's going to ask us for an X scale X offset and Y scale Y offset. So we know what we want the X scale to be. 
which is, you know, I divided by max assets, which I'll just make a thing here. Local size is equal to I divided by max assets, okay? So this size variable is like this, right? Like, like with these numbers that we just saw here, this is what size is. And then we say, okay, so the X scale is gonna be the size. X offset, we, we, we don't want, we want it to be zero. Y scale, I believe is one, let me see. Uh, yeah, it's one, okay. So Y scale is one, Y offset is zero. So Y, we, we're not changing. All we want to change is just the scale of the X. And so I'll just, I'll just wait like 0 0.5 seconds. Um, just, we don't, we don't like immediately finish everything. And so let's see how, how this is going to look out. Dum, bum, 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 bum. There we go. Beautiful. Now, one more thing as well is that you may be like, oh, but I want to animate it. Right? Like, I, I don't want it to just be, be all choppy. We can also do that. Okay. Uh, this is about tweening. So I, I have a video on tweening GUI. I think it's like the last, like I have several videos on GUI tweening and like the course as well. Um, in short, what you should do is I'm going to copy this Udem2. So I'm going to yeah copy, delete it. And then I'll just say game. So I'll try and do this all in one line. Okay, so bear with me. Game .tween service. So we get the tween service. Then we create a new tween. We need the item that we're changing, which is the bar. So I'll say script.parent. We need the tween info, uh, which all it really needs is just the amount of time that we want the animation to take. And we want it to be quick. We don't want it to be too long. So let's say like 0 0.3, right? Um, yeah, that's it. And then it needs a table of what property we want to change. So the table and we want to change the size and we want to make the size equal to this. Okay. Like so. So again, note that this size and, and this size, like, like this size, like make sure that this size has a capital S. Okay. So just because if, if it's not capital, like it, it has to be exactly like, um, it is here, right? So make sure that the property here is written exactly like the property here. Um, yeah, so this is gonna just make a new tween and then we have to play it as well at the end. So after we create it, we play it. Um, and then I guess we can just wait 0.5 seconds, okay? And so what this is gonna do is, yeah, there we go. Bum, 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 amazing. If we really wanted to, we could also just, you know, take these assets and then just copy them over like so. And then, you know, probably make this a little faster, like 0 0.1, make, also make the 0 0.1. And yeah, and then it would look a little smoother, like so. Yeah, so that that that, that kind of that kind of looks like more of like an actual loading screen bar, right? Um, and then, yeah, so after that's done, then you would just delete the GUI or, you know, tween it to like go down like some loading screens do. Um, and yeah, so that's basically it. Again, you know, these assets should be like the actual assets of your game. Uh, max assets, yeah, again, should be the, the amount of assets that are in your game, right? Um, and then when you're looping through all of your assets, you need to be using content provider, which is a service, to actually make sure that the item is loaded, okay? Which again, I do all of that in my first video. So, you know, go check that out. I think it's like um, like how to make loading screens and, and Roblox or something, very boring title. Uh, but yeah, so that's basically it. Uh, the courses are linked in the description and maybe the comments, who knows, it's a mystery. And yeah, we are back to basics. Thank you for watching.